I'm Tara. And I'm Brian. And together we make up Rochford 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 Renovations. Renovations. Rooney, get Rooney. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tara and I'm Brian and together we make up Rochford, Rochford Renovations. Renovations. So since our project has begun we've had a lot of people asking about the history of our nearly 100 year old Tudor home located in historic Merton Kessler. And we learned a lot about the history when we were flipping through the Decorators Show House magazine from 1984 from way back when our house was the Decorators Show House. And right now in Meridian Kessler, it is decorator show house season. It's happening right now. You can see the signs everywhere. So we thought this would be a perfect time to talk about the history of our house, talk about what the decorator show house actually is. So Tara, what is the decorator show house? The decorator show house is a fundraiser for Eskenazi hospital here in Indianapolis. The homeowner moves out of their home and lets several designers design each room in their house. This year, there are about 22 designers and the home was originally built in 1929 and it's located on the iconic Meridian Street. So our house was the show house back in 1984. And what was really cool is looking back at the brochure um, and seeing how they described everything. They actually had pictures and drawings of the room because you know they didn't have their iPhones out like we do now, just snapping pictures of all the rooms like we would today. Our home was originally built in 1925 by Mr. and Mrs. Paul Besire, and it was designed by the architect Harold McLucas. McLucas designed many other notable buildings, including Laurel Hall, which just happens to be the headquarters of Phi Kappa Psi, the fraternity Brian was a member of in college, which we've both been to events at Laurel Hall, so I just think that's so cool that the same architect designed Laurel Hall and now designed our home. The Besires lived in the home from 1925 until 1933 when the home was purchased by Paul White and his family. According to the 1984 Decorated Show House magazine, Paul White was an engineer and an inventor. He invented the crop duster, the bassinet for his grandchild, which is relevant because we have a new baby on the way, and a method of breaking up coal that was considered a real mining innovation. Mrs. White was a child of the Malats. And the interesting thing here is that this house was the fourth decorator's show house that was a home of one of the Malat's children. In 1958, the home was purchased by the O'Connor family who had eight children and they installed a brand new kitchen. The family who owned this house prior to us purchased it just after it was the 1984 show house, which makes us the fifth family owning this home. It appears that back in the 80s, the show house was also decorated by several designers, just like it is today. In all, there were 44 areas of the home featured, including the porte cochet and the carriage house. So some other information we found out about our house uh, happened while we were just kind of searching on the internet. Initially, we started searching on the Indiana Historical Society's website and had some trouble finding anything. We were searching by address, but when we started searching by Paul Besire, the original homeowner, we realized that the address entered into the Historical Society's website was actually incorrect. So there are two photos of the home, but the listing is on Meridian, which is that other iconic Meridian Kessler Street, but our home is actually located on Washington. We also learned by looking at the censuses from the 20s and 30s, um, that there were two other people living with the Besires in their house. Um, they were labeled as their maids, and it was actually a married couple that lived there with them. So it makes sense when you look at the original floor plans um, that one of the bedrooms was labeled maid's room, and it was an attached bathroom and had access to both the back staircase and the attic. The other bedroom, however, is labeled guest room. So we just found that kind of interesting. There were no kids ever planned for this house and it really was built for that family. So as I continued digging through, I found um, that that couple continued working for the Besires even after the Besires moved. Paul Besire actually owned a company that imported baking supplies from Europe, flour, stuff like that. And um, the guy that lived there with him and helped keep up the house moved on to working at um, his company with him, which I thought was really cool. So another thing we found interesting was that on the original floor plans, we also noticed that the primary suite included a room called the sleeping porch, 
So after a bit of Google research, we learned that this was a room with screened in windows used for sleeping in warmer months, which that room is completely lined with windows and they all have screens on them. And this was particularly thought to be more helpful in a time just after the 1918 flu pandemic and when tuberculosis was still a threat and fresh air was recommended as preventative treatment, which is a little timely for everything that's going on in the world right now. So in theory, you would sleep in the one room during the winter time. It had a fireplace. They could light the fire, stay nice and warm. And then as soon as it started getting warmer, you would move over to the sleeping porch, open up all the windows and you'd be good to go. The history of our home has been something that's really important to us. And we feel really honored that we can be the fifth family living in this house. It's our goal and mission through this restoration to bring the home back to its former glory. So hopefully it'll be around for another hundred years and have more families enjoy it. Absolutely. We've had so much fun researching the home and our neighborhood. And if you guys have any history questions or have any history information that you know about our house or our street or our neighborhood, please share or ask the question because we love, we love this stuff. We could do it all the time. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on our total house restoration project.